September. So today I'm here with a video for Brutus Monroe using their collaboration with Simon Says Stamp for Stamptember. This is called Seasonal Gnomes and we have a Christmas gnome or a winter gnome, a fall gnome, and a cute little witchy Halloween gnome down here with lots of accessories and sentiments. Today I wanted to build a scene with one of the gnomes and I'm going to use the Christmas gnome. So I'm actually going to use the fall gnome as well, but the main image is going to be our Christmas gnome here. It's going to be a mini slimline. So I'm starting with a panel to put on the slimline card. And this panel measures five and three quarter inches by two and three quarter inches and it has this nice little stitched edge around the outside. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our stamping. When building a scene, I do find it easier to use a stamp platform, and I use a, I'm gonna use a mini Misty for this. And the one thing you have to, actually I'm going to use the regular Misty because some of my stamps are going to go off of the paper. And to do my stamping today, I'm using the Brutus Monroe Raven Detail Ink. This is my favorite ink to use for Copic coloring, water coloring. You can use it really with anything. I'm sorry for my voice. I'm a little congested tonight, so I apologize for that. I'm going to start just by sticking our panel there. And when you're building a scene, you have to think about what is going to be in the front of the scene versus what's going to be in the background. And in the forefront of my scene, I want this gnome. I think I'm going to put him right here. So we're first going to put him down where we want him. So kind of like right there. And he's going to go a little bit off the paper, and I just think that gives it a cute, playful look. How cute is he? Now, before I clean my stamp, I'm putting, this is some masking paper. I'm putting my masking paper down right over top of him. And I'm just stamping with the leftover ink onto the masking paper. The next thing we have to do is cut out our mask. My goal here is to stamp a bunch of gnomes behind him where you can really just see their hats. So I do need to cover most of him up, but he's a pretty easy character to cut out. And it doesn't have to be perfect. But what I have found is you want to cut right in the middle of the black line. You don't wanna cut on the outside of the black line because then that'll give you too much space in between your images and they won't butt up right against each other you'll have like a little white halo around your image so i make sure i cut out as well as you can right on that black line or a little bit into the black line now remember with these stamp timber sets they are limited edition so once they sell out they're gone forever they won't be replenished they won't make more um so if you have interest in it make sure you head over to simon says stamp right now and then we can kind of see how well we did by placing him on. And you want to make sure that your mask doesn't go over the black line of your image. I really think this set is super cute. And when we're, the way we're stamping today, we're actually going to use this fall gnome. And you won't even be able to tell that it's supposed to be a fall gnome. Because the way we're going to color it and add it onto our image here is it's just going to look like another gnome for Christmas that's just wearing a different hat. Okay, we're gonna need another mask for this little present. So I'm gonna stick that there. Stamp our mask. Okay, so we'll put this here. I'm going to put this one up a little bit further. Then I'm going to put my masking paper down and stamp him down so I can cut a mask of this guy. All right, I'm going to use our little winter hat again and just put it 
down here towards the bottom. I want to leave enough room. Maybe I'll just put this joy there. A panel here. And then we can take off all our masks and see our little scene. All right. Let's see what we have. How cute is that? So now we get to color. I usually just do a simple two color blend. And I do like to start with a darker color. So I'm using YG63 and YG61 for a green for this hat over here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit from the one edge. And I turn my paper around a lot when I'm coloring. And I just feather it in and then feather in this, the lighter color. And then you can just give it a couple minutes because it will do a little bit of blending on its own. And you don't want to oversaturate the paper and then you'll have color go outside of the lines. So I'll usually start with doing some coloring, then I let it sit and see what it does, and then you can always go back in and blend some more if you need to. I think the really beautiful effects come in when you allow there to be a lot of contrast in your coloring, where you have the shadows and you have the highlights. For this, I'm going to use Light Rouge and Lipstick Orange. I'm trying to go with the curve of the the lines here on the hat. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you guys have a wonderful stamp timber and I'll catch you soon. Bye.